Hey everyone, Arish Shah here, and today we're going to be talking about some of the best altcoins to be looking out for in the month of April and moving forward. Uh, two days ago, we made a video on investing into the top five altcoins, and we have almost finalized that list. That list is uh, more conservative and a different strategy because we are investing $5,000 for our father and we're going to return it within 30 days. But guys, I just wanted to go over the videos here. So people who have been watching, let me know in the description below, are you able to navigate easily between video to video? Um, can I make playlists to make it easier for you guys? Let me know. How is the audio sound? Let me know. I really appreciate you guys following. If you haven't clicked that bell button, smash that like button or commented below, go ahead and comment. Let's interact. Feel free to ask me any question. I try to answer every single question today. No video of me. Just want to go over pure content. And you guys can see, you know, these are the videos. You can see how much people like them um, or don't like them. And let me know. Are you able to see these easily? Uh, are you finding value here? Do you like when I post once a day? Do you like it when I post three times a day? Let me know, guys. You guys are my audience. I want you guys to learn as much as possible in the best quality so I'm trying to improve everything for you guys. That being said, we're going to be talking about many coins. And the one we're starting with is Pokemon, guys. This token is absolutely crazy. It goes by the ticker P-M-O-N. And it's not like Pokemon. It's Pokemon, which, wow, they really killed it with, with that marketing. And uh, its listing price was at $0.35. Cents. If you go look at Pokemon now, it went all the way up to like 50 plus dollars yesterday and is sitting around $41. If you guys ever want to look at coins, go to CoinGecko or, or CoinMarketCap. Those are two great tools. CoinMarketCap is owned by Binance, just FYI. And we can see Pokemon is at $40 now, down 20% over 24 hours. Um but you have to realize the people who got part of the pre-listing already 100 x <laughs> um, And the crazier thing is that when you look at the details of these, they're doing, they're doing, uh, look at how they're giving value. Glitter, yes. Horn, silver, yes. Color, yellow. So the color you are, the horn you have, the glitter you have, um, and the availability all contribute to the price of these Pokemon. And you have to buy Pimon to, to, per, to open the boosters. We're going to buy some Pimon and open them. If you guys would like me to record opening the booster packs, comment below and let me know. I won't know unless you let me know. There's so much content to cover. It is absolutely impossible to cover it all you have to find your sources of truth so for those that follow me and spend your time here thank you so much and if you've been making money congratulations we win together uh, we are all on the same mission poke starter baby dragon that is so cool uh, apparently people who were invested earlier these were things that incentivized them and if you go look at open sea You'll see that these collectibles are already going for several ETH. Some are going for five, seven, 10 plus ETH. And I only suspect for that to go up in value. Pokemon exists in many shapes and colors, each differing in rarity and uniqueness. You can find the growing list of Pokemon here. Explore will launch soon. You can connect your wallet. You can go open booster. Um, I really have to give it to them. These look great. They look great. They look appealing. You can buy a booster and you can even check out the token supply. 10 million of this token supply, 1.8 million in circulating supply. And it was 40 cents on Uniswap. Wow. Wow. We missed that one. Public sale, 35 cents. 20% be vested in post listing, then daily vesting over 90 days. Sale price, 20 cents. 
10% foundational reserve locked for one year, then daily vesting over 365, 20% for marketing and business development tokens, 20 before listing, then daily vesting over 365 days, 20% liquidity tokens, 20% before listing, then daily vesting over 365 days, 10% team and advisories token locked for one year, then daily vesting over 365 days. So they really know what they're doing. They have their token allocation here. 45% is going to the development team. How do you guys feel about 45% going to the development team? Do you think that's too much? Let me know below. Marketing acts, marketing actions such as partnerships, awareness, and go-to-market strategy will account for 20% of total funds raised. Legal and accountancy will represent 5% of total funds raised. 30% of funds will be used to pro provide liquidity to exchanges. So guys, if you go and buy PMON and you, you purchase... Uh, these boosters, which I highly recommend. The collectibles are what's going to be worth a lot. It's going to be a very expensive pro process. If you don't have heavy pockets and you don't have minimum $1,000, I don't even think it's worth the process because you're going to have to pay to open. You're going to have to pay for the PMON. If you buy it on Uniswap, you're going to have to pay a high fee. The alternative you do have is to use a new exchange called MXC. And once you, once you purchase it, you can just send it to your MetaMask and it'll be a seamless uh, it'll be a seamless process instead of you paying a hundred plus dollars to try to get uh, PMON on Uniswap and your transaction might fail several times. So if, if you fail three times, that's three hundred dollars. If you have a thousand dollars, that's thirty percent of your portfolio already down the drain. So um, MXC guys. It's not that hard to sign up for these exchanges, especially if you're only using them for a second. Just do it. It takes less than 10 minutes. They do dope two uh, factor authentication. And um, yeah, you know, I think it's a it's a better option. You know, I use it for Bitforex for Omi. That worked out great. Um, but yeah, guys, today uh, we're also going to be talking about we're going to go to Veracity first. So Veracity is a protocol and product layer platform for esports and video entertainment. Veracity has gone up in price, guys. Um, that being said, it has a super low market cap. When we come to CoinGecko, we'll see that Veracity, VRA, over the last 30 days is up 1,500%. Over the last two weeks, up 100% and down for the last 24 hours that's very exciting guys because veracity still has a super super low market cap it is not showing you here let's see if coin market cap lists veracity's market cap for you guys and for those of you that don't know this is owned by binance this was the number one uh, trafficking website and binance bought them and that's why I say Binance is such a strong coin. They have so much vertical integration, you know? You can't ignore it. They have so many projects, you just can't ignore it. Market cap is still super low. We're talking about a $143 million market cap. And we're talking about has a big circulating supply, but I believe that this coin can easily hit a $500 million market cap. When we see coins in the $75 million market cap to $250 market cap, that's really when they've gained traction. They passed that 100 mil now they're right around 144 million. I think Veracity will be one of our five picks for my father's $5,000 challenge. We will be giving him the money back in 30 days. So if you guys want to keep up with that, definitely click the bell button to get notified. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think of Veracity. We also are a big holder of BPRO. And we're just going to show you the price of BPRO because it's been consolidating. So for those of you that have been watching, you get extra gems and opportunities to buy and do your due diligence. 
we try to not shill you coins that are pumping. We try to shill you, <laughs> sorry, we try to give you strong projects and those that are consolidating. For, for BPRO, yes, it had a pump within the last month. You can see it went all the way up here and went up to five cents. That being said, I made the video when it fell between two and three cents, got all the way below two cents. And now it's still sitting between two to three cents. If you go to KuCoin.com, their staking is completely filled in their uh, pool X for KuCoin. And if you haven't checked out KuCoin, you can use my referral link below. KuCoin is a global exchange like Crypto.com and Binance. Very, very great platform to use to get some of these coins. You don't need KYC. And it's a great launch pad for these projects when they do well on KuCoin, they go to Binance, they go to Uniswap, and they really just uh, the sky's the limit from there. But definitely check out BPRO, guys. That was, BPRO, we love BPRO. Um, great to have Veracity and BPRO. Silo, guys. So I, I looked into Silo because I, someone kept mentioning in the comments. So, And when I looked at it, I'm like, this is a hidden gem. Definitely a hidden gem. Before we go into it, I just want to show you on Coin market cap where silo is ranked right now and just yesterday it was pumping absolutely oh, pumping again pumping again so it is pumping guys but take something into consideration we see that it's not even the scent and it, okay so that psychological number of a scent hasn't even been passed yet it's a fairly new project it's ranked 786, and look how low this market cap is, guys. $21 million market cap. If this does what we think it's going to do, guys, even if we go to a $200 million market cap, we're talking about a 10x Technology for advancing world, apps, infrastructure, tools for deploying, managing, and using smart money. Learn about this silo network. You can check out their white paper, their roadmap. When you look at their roadmap, you'll be like, they have got so much done. Silo Confidential released. Silo's first product, 2017. Network V1 blockchain integration, 2018. V1 completed, smart wallet release Q3 2019, 50,000 users 2019 Q3, silo technical white papers 2020 Q1 before we really went on this run of Bitcoin going to 3,000 all the way to 50,000, 100,000 users silo wallet Q1 2020. I'm seeing some great momentum here, guys. Trends are your friends. Silo token listed on KuCoin. For something, first off, we love low market cap gems that are listed on KuCoin, right? We love KuCoin. KuCoin's been good. We've had it for years and they never did anything bad for us. Knock on wood. Silo, Centropay, Coca-Cola partnerships enables users to buy products from vending machines and digital assets. That's huge. Coca-Cola, 200,000 users. Join Silo Mart Smart Wallet. That's just Q2 of 2020. That's right when coronavirus was happening. Everyone's going to the wallet. 250,000 by Q2 2020. Silo partners with Bitness to bring crypto to India. They're attacking different continents. Web3 Silo browser for Ethereum dApps. Guys, this looks like a super hidden gem. Thank you for putting it in the comments below. We were going to put DOT in our top five for my father's uh, investment challenge. Unfortunately, because we bojangled, we don't have dot in our top five yet. So that is something that, uh, you know, that when you hesitate, you're not going to do as well. But Silo, Smart Wallet, Tezos integration. If we look, Silo node public release run your own silo node, provide communication. And now we're in 2021, release by crypto feature 
release Tezos staking baking and release crypto tracker. NFT support added to the Stylo smart wallet. They're right on target to hit this booming market of the NFTs. Silo burn mechanic launched. That sounds exciting. Deflationary coins, anything that has burning has been great. Uh, a hidden gem, if you guys have been watching up to this point, and we made a video on it, and it'll be in the description low, below and in the video is Safe Moon. It is 100%ing every day. If you don't know about Safe Moon, 10% fee at the beginning. 10% fee when you buy or sell, 50% of that fee goes to the token holders. New exchange listing Q2 confirmed. It's already confirmed. So that's bullish news. In wallet, silo staking, silo tokens to earn a yield from within the silo smart wallet. So where can we get... It is available on KuCoin, Gate.io, and Uniswap. Three great places to purchase Uniswap, high gas fees, a hidden gem for people to purchase I've been recommending. And I always recommend different coins depending on the amount you want to invest, the exchange you're getting it from, and the level you're beginning at. But yeah, I have been recommending Matic because Ethereum still has huge gas fees. So M-A-T-I-C, Matic. Polygon is a great project to look into. But yeah, guys, that is the coins for today. There are two other coins. I have crypto.com and Engine. Engine has a uh, Age of Rust coming out, and people are going to start buying up Engine coin just to play that game and to try to win the bounties. And crypto.com had that huge burn, and now they released the NFT marketplace with Snoop Dogg. But guys, let me know in the comments below, which one is your favorite out of these projects? What do you want me to invest into the uh, top five altcoins with the $5,000 we have? Um, this was a list we had about a day ago. Dot, Link, Orion, Bpro, and Veracity. But since Dot has gone up so much by 25% yesterday, we're highly considering replacing Dot with silo and since chain link has passed that 30 dollar mark and we already have a huge bag of chain link at this from a father um we might replace silo this would be really risky to go into pmon if anything i might just buy this myself and put it into my own collectibles the same way i did with vv i have 20 vv collectibles my dad's not going to get it if i'm like hey dad i just bought you uh 15 Pokemon unicorn NFTs. He's not going to like the sound of that. But guys, let me know if you think, uh, don't worry, dad, we're going to do it anyways, and we're going to make you good money. And do you even think it's worth the entire process to buy Pokemon, open the packs, mint it for it to go to OpenSea? Let me know. Seems like a lot of work, but they look super awesome. Which was your favorite coin today, guys? I hope you enjoyed this one. I didn't do any intro with my face. I just wanted to give you pure content. Thank you for watching because nothing's more valuable than your time except your money. So I'll see you next time with some more gems.